And we're back with another exclusive skin preview. These are always so hype and honestly, I'm so thankful for Riot for inviting me out to actually be able to hands-on with new skins on a bi-weekly basis at this point. It's just been so amazing. And honestly, as you guys already know, if you guys want the bundle, you want these juicy, juicy new skins, you can check out my Twitter giveaway using the link in the description down below. Yeah, we're gonna open up the store and get straight into these now. When heading to the store, you're gonna be shown the RGX 11Z Pro, the newest collection and bundle to Valorant, and there's actually a lot to cover, so buckle up. There's just a lot of little details here. The bundle will cost 8,700 Valorant points and has a few key features and new things that we've never seen before, so. All right, let, let me just start by showing you the gun buddy. This gun buddy is a graphics card, which is absolutely hilarious and actually reacts in game with kills. I'll try to show that off. This is the banner you get. It's like gaming headphones and a keyboard that smashes. So those are the three accessories. I never really show accessories. I want to make sure to show them from now on. And then we're going to get into the guns themselves. Of course, I'm going to actually purchase this just like a little yoink and go from there. Starting with the collection itself, we'll hop in game right after. So I'm going to start with the frenzy. The first gun is the frenzy and the default color scheme. I will, of course, jump to fully upgraded is a green, black, gray and kind of transparent look. This is the base model of the skin. You got a lot of rotating parts inside the barrel to kind of, I always like when guns have this consistent animation to them. To me, it makes it feel more premium and there's no difference here. I, I really like how this looks. Um, not my favorite design wise, but just the features of the skin collection is really there. You got a lot of glowing bits, as you can see, outlined glowing bits, and you got a red variant. Red and white, this looks super clean. I am a fan of the red. I'm also a fan of this blue variant, which looks super clean. Just black with a little bit of blue. Kind of got a Tron vibe here. This is my personal favorite. And then the last one, if you want to go all out, flashy in your face, you got bright silver, orange, and red. And of course, in game, they match the exact same thing. We got an equip, red lights, red muzzle flash. Same thing with the blue. Of course, I'll show more in game afterwards with the sounds. Same idea, blue with the blue muzzle flash. You got the red. Again, same idea, red with the red muzzle flash. And then finally, green. Got to hover over here. It's going to shoot green, which I think looks pretty cool. I like how it shoots green. That is really cool. Overall, looks really nice. Now, I'm not biased. I'm not sponsored by Riot. I sure do love them, but I'm going to zoink them and hate on them with one thing here. You guys know how upgrades work. There's been level 1, level 2, level 3, and level 4 for the longest time. They added a level 5 for the kill counter, which is at the back of the gun. You can see it right there, 0-0. Zero, zero. I'll show you the kill counter in a little bit, but the kill counter here at the back of the gun goes up every kill you get, and it's based on the game you're in. So if you drop a 30 bomb, you get 30 kills. It's not lifetime stat, it's just a game stat. So if you drop a 40 bomb, you'll have 40 there. Next game, you start 0-0. It's just based off how many kills you get in the game. What I'm zoinking them for is the fact is it's its own upgrade. The kill counter should be part of the animation in level 3. I do not like how it's level 5 separated. Taking away more... Um, more Radianite is just not the play. They're already really hard, really expensive to get, and I'm just, I'm sorry. I love you guys. You guys did really good with these skins, but I, I don't agree with that. Next up, we got the Stinger. Not the most favorable weapon, but when it comes to design, they're sticking through the exact same. This is how the base looks. This is how the red looks. I really like this red. It kind of grew on me pretty fast. <laughs> I didn't like it at the start, but it grew on me pretty fast. Then there's this blue and black one, of course. And finally, the bright orange just sticking out of your face. I'll show you guys a quick preview in-game for all of them. Just the equipment shooting. Of course, the uh, aim down sight's also going to change. And the kill counter color, of course, also changes. Got the blue. And finally, you got the orange. We'll look at we'll look more in the guns in game just a second. I just want to preview all the color schemes and guns themselves so you can see them. Then we'll get into details because there are some details. Next, we got a guardian. Not gonna lie. All right, this isn't hate, but I'm gonna zonk you on this one. I'm not, this is not hate, but uh, this should have been a bulldog. This 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 skin should have been a bulldog. We got a lot of guardian skins. It's been a while. 
Ah, oh, no, actually, you got the Zed Bulldog. Maybe that's why they did it. Oh, I would have loved to see a Bulldog in this this design. But anyways, either way, this is the default color scheme. You got the lime green. It shows a little bit more thanks to the more surface area of the Guardian itself. Same animations, of course. This is the red. Still liking it, but you can see more red thanks to how the Guardian is. Black and blue and that bright orange. But you got the silver where the other colors are, so it's a little bit more muted. You can see in-game, of course, a little equip animation. No unique equip animation, but you got a lot of effects like with the lights when you're pulling it out. So I'm not 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 too upset there. The red. As well as the blue. And the orange. <laughs> the orange is really intense. <laughs> like it's actually super intense. The last gun of the collection, of course, not the least, the Vandal. So the Vandal is looking mighty fine. Definitely my favorite of the collection. I think a lot of people are just gonna just cop the Vandal and I wouldn't blame you. Look at this in red. It looks so good in red. Like I actually like how it looks a lot in red. Even the blue and black looks very clean if you don't like these intense effects. I really love the options here. Like this is why I love Riot's art team. You got this muted option next to this like you know what I mean like right next to each other you got a very muted sleek option versus something just in your face just to help make sure that anyone who buys this has the opportunity to make sure they're equipping what they like of course we'll look at them a little bit in game just just for you guys who want to just see the skins and get out of here I respect it you got the red also just so you can see all the color game all the colors in game because it take forever for me to equip them leave and then equip the next color so you can just see all the all the color schemes in game very quick so you can uh, plan which color schemes you want to buy. I know I, I'm, I'm, I'm a loser enough to do that, so I know you guys are too. And that's the orange. Looking clean. A lot of effects near the front, like right here where you guys actually see in first person. You can see a lot going on here, which is very important. Now with the Vandal and the red variant, I'm going to now show you the kill counter. I'll let the video actually play all the way through because I don't have anyone with me on the test server to showcase it. So we're going to have to use the preview here. Now, you can see this something very unique about this. I'm going to explain now and then showcase a little later. When you inspect, the colors turn off and a new color turns on. So you can see here, inspect. Now it's a different color. Shoot at a wall. You can see the actual bullets on the wall are also a different color. Inspect and it goes into the next color. Each variant has four different colors and you can cycle through them by just inspecting the gun, which is very, very interesting. That's unique and I love it because you can change it on the fly. The kill counter begins when he gets a kill. That's his first kill. That's his second kill. That's his third kill. And for the final kill of the round, you get the finisher and the kill counter goes to easy. It says easy, which is absolutely hilarious. Obviously, when it comes to the artwork, it is stunning. So like I wanted to show that video in full so you can see a lot of the different effects and details, but it doesn't exactly end here. So let's check out the knife and then hop in game. So this is the knife. And when, <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it looks like, you know, the knife where you cut the carpet with like it looks like a high tech version of that. Right. So I wasn't sure what to expect. But then when you upgrade it um, to level two. I'll just do that on camera real quick. You'll see that the knife changes. It comes out like a sword. Actually, you guys missed it. There you go. Comes out like a sword. Then I'm like, okay, another sword. I kind of got wary. We got a lot of swords in the game. But then when you see it in game, it is insane. Of course, here the colors change based off of which style you pick. Like the red looks really good to me with the white light. You got the blue with the blue light. And you got the orange with the orange light. It's It looks cool. But it's about the animations and the fact that it's the first katana in the game with unique animations. Hopping into the game here with the nice clear sky so you can see everything. I'm going to get straight into the melee. I'm not I'm not debating you guys. Man, that's how you pull it out. And it is the first katana. You hold it completely differently when you're running back and forth. You can see it kind of pushes back with the movement. Um, again, this is how you equip it. This is the light attack. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it. Nice little swoop. And then my favorite, the heavy attack. Oh, you got that little flippity flip right there, right at the end. It sounds good. It comes back. Again, you can equip it. It's, it's just so cool looking. And wait until you see the inspect. Here's the big thing with the inspect. Watch the light. Oh, 
Oh my, not only do you flip it around, but the light changes and pulses color. There are, again, four lights it can cycle through. Oh man, it's so good. So damn good. It just looks amazing. It is by far my favorite melee weapon in the game now. Like I'm just, I'm copying this instantly. I don't know about the whole bundle. Everyone's got opinions. I really like this this melee though like it's just we'll see i don't know what i'll do exactly it's just so good it's it's so good this is the frenzy and the gun buddy actually reacts when you shoot as you can see the fan spins faster and it glows up if you guys haven't noticed it, it this is inspired by high-end gaming hardware and emissive led lights you got the spinning components you got premium plastic it's got got everything here you can see the fan i absolutely love the fan spinning as well as all the other uh Little spinny things right there spin faster as well. Um, a big thing to note, bullet trail is green. If I change the color, bullet trail is now blue. So a lot of details coming in here. You can really see this. And you can also, let's say I change it. Oh, I don't want yellow. I can immediately do it. See, now it's white. This is my favorite, man, the white LED. So good, so, so good. We got the stinger, same idea going on here. I don't, you guys got the idea there. You can turn it off. Turn it back on, it's blue now. Turn it off. Turn it back on, it's yellow now. And again, throughout all the guns, exactly how it looks. This this van this vandal actually looks good. Like, do you guys see hear how it sounds? I really like how this sounds. A lot. Oh, now it's bright red. Damn, it's kind of growing on me. Back to white. They're not in exact order, so you gotta kind of gotta play with it here. There you go. Now it's blue or purple. Oh man, I love purple. So it's a little RNG. I kind of wish it just cycled through the lights in order, just so I could get to the color I want quickly. Let's say I wanted red right now. I'm just betting on it turning red. That's that's my only gripe with it. I wish it just went in that order so I can choose what color, but either way, small complaint. Really like how it looks still. The last gun would be the operate, uh, operator, I wish, the uh, Guardian. The black style has a huge benefit of being like any color that turns on just looks good because the, the other components are black. Well, there you have it. I'm just going to show you guys the sword colors in game because I didn't go through those. But yeah, other than that, this bundle is 8700. It looks really good in my opinion. What could make it better? This is my opinion. This one's a little personal. Would be the Guardian to the Bulldog and then the Stinger probably just to the Spectre or to kind of anything else and maybe even the Marshall and I would have copped it. I would have copped the entire bundle as it is now. If you like everything and all the guns in there, yes, the Vandal is really, really great cop and the melee to me is just a must buy. That's just how I see it. I already showed you the red in the game. That's just how I see it. The uh, the color gradients are amazing. You got something for everyone. Like you can just go with this black one and then when you change colors, it, you know, it lights up, looks good. Black is just a base color. I just, I think Riot did great. I love the gun buddy being animated when you shoot. They did it with the Celestial, then I don't think they did it again. I'm sorry if I'm mistaken. And I missed it. I'm really glad it's back. It's really funny that it's a graphics card. I think that's super fitting, especially in the time we're in right now. And uh, yeah, all in all, great bundle. In my opinion, I was gonna say 10 out of 10, but it's like, 8.5 or 9 out of 10 just because the gun selection and the fact you have to pay 10 extra radionite for the kill counter kill counter is a bonus to me i think it looks cool not a huge deal to me but to others you know it might matter a lot of gibberish at the end sorry about that hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button consider subscribing join the giveaway using the link down below for a chance to win this bundle and i'll catch you guys in the next one